All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. The first story, I think, is a pretty interesting one. Um, and this is a weightlifting record, a Guinness Book of World Records record, um, that's a bit unconventional here. So this weightlifting world record is actually the record for the most consecutive bench presses underwater. Now, this record was recently set in October of 2019 by Greg Whitstock. Now, again, this is consecutive bench presses underwater so that you can't come up for air. So I'm guessing one of the main, you know, struggles with this record is holding your breath for that long and being able to utilize that oxygen to also perform the bench press for however many consecutive reps. And the record that this Greg Whitstock set was 61 consecutive reps underwater without coming up for air. Now, the weight that he actually used was 50 kilograms, which equates to about 110 pounds. So again, it's not an insane amount of weight. The main challenge here was the repetitions and the ability to stay underwater for that long of a time. And again, the use of oxygen here or the efficiency that you use oxygen um, is the primary factor into setting this record. So I thought this was a pretty cool and unconventional story to start out this video. So shout out to Greg Whitstock. Very, very cool stuff. Now, next up in the news, we have Kai Green and Phil Heath reunited in Mumbai, India for the Sheru Classic. Now, you guys might remember back in the day um, when Kai Green and Phil Heath's rivalry was really at its peak back at the Olympias they were doing. The Shiru Classic was kind of a post-Olympia tour um, that a lot of the Olympia guys would go and do after the Olympia, and it was one of the shows that Phil and Kai actually did after the Olympia. And I remember the story that Phil is referencing here um, back in 2012 when they were in Mumbai, back when they were actually rivals, they were sitting next to each other on a bus um, going to that Sheru Classics. So that was the story from 2012, and I guess this is their first time reuniting um, at this Sheru Classic. And of course, the caption on this post is, time to break the internet at Kai Green. It has over 100,000 likes in the past eight or so hours. So it's actually kind of cool to see this. I think the rivalry is done between Phil and Kai, and I think this is a further revelation that goes to show that we're probably not going to see Phil and Kai ever compete at the Olympia again, and certainly we're probably not going to ever see Phil and Kai compete against each other ever again. I think there's a chance that Phil might do a show like the Arnold Classic or this show that The Rock is doing, Athleticon, a title that he's never won. But I think it's probably safe to say at this point we're not going to see Kai Green come back and compete. I think Kai Green is honestly busy you know, with the social media thing and other business ventures that he's pursuing. Um, and Kai Green had a bit of a different approach to the photo that he posted. And he actually removed this photo because I can't find it on his Instagram now, but I had taken a screenshot of it when I first saw it. Um, so Kai Green's post with Phil Heath was kind of in typical Kai Green fashion, trying to uh, spark some controversy and spark some clicks here. What country do you want the fight to be in? Comment below. And it's got a picture of Phil Heath and Kai Green, obviously, together in India. Um, but they've both got boxing gloves on. Now, I can't actually tell if these boxing gloves were photoshopped in or if they actually had these gloves on. Obviously, there's never going to be a boxing match between Phil Heath and Kai Green. I think this was just a publicity stunt. And I don't even think the gloves are real in this photo. So that could be why he took it down, because it was an obvious kind of a reach um, you know, to try to promote something. Celebrity boxing matches seem to be all the rage right now, but I'm not for one second ever going to believe or give in to the idea that we're ever going to see a Kai Green and Phil Heath boxing match. I'll go on record right now saying I don't think that will ever, ever happen. All right, so next up in strongman news, I think this is kind of an interesting story. Strongman Patrick Baboumian gladly accepts Brian Shaw's challenge. Now, if you don't know who Patrick Baboumian is, he is the, he's the vegan strongman that was featured in the Game Changers documentary that everyone has been talking about lately, this vegan documentary um, that talks about the benefits of a vegan diet to an elite-level athlete. And they use Patrick as an example in that documentary of being one of the strongest men in the world on an entirely vegan diet. So he gained a lot of notoriety from that documentary on Netflix. Um, and now that he's got this notoriety, Brian Shaw has actually challenged him um, to take him on to see who is the stronger strongman at any given challenge. So to be clear, Patrick has never won the World's Strongest Man competition, but they kind of made it seem in the documentary like he was the strongest man on earth and he was one of the strongest human beings alive. And they kind of put this twist on it, like you can be vegan and be the strongest guy on earth. And they kind of discounted guys that have actually won the World's Strongest Man like Brian Shaw, none of which are vegans. 
So apparently Brian Shaw made a video challenging this Patrick guy to come and train with him, and he would accept a challenge with him at any lift of his choice. Apparently Patrick responded to this challenge and accepted, um, and he says that he had reached out before this, so probably before the documentary, um, to challenge Shaw, and he says that he was told by Shaw's wife that Brian was unavailable for training at that time. So I guess now that he has the clout from the documentary, Brian Shaw's interested. I, for one, am interested to see them go head to head um, because I don't really like the way that they portrayed Patrick in the documentary um, as being more successful and stronger than he really is. That's just my opinion. So that wraps it up for the video today, guys. Short one today. I, for one, am going to kick back, get out the Nintendo Switch, and play this new Pokemon Sword and Shield game that just came out today. If you guys are millennials like me, you probably played the Pokemon games as a kid. So I'm going to kick back and play this game for the rest of the afternoon. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. As always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.